With the eyes of the world momentarily on Port of Spain for the second time this year, Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Patrick Manning proudly welcomed world leaders to the official opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Pulling up in dark SUVs specially purchased by the state for this year's summits, the leaders arrived within minutes of each other. Security tight, arriving leaders were escorted up the stairs of the crown jewel of the Manning administration, the recently completed multi-million dollar National Academy for the Performing Arts. The leaders are here hoping to find common ground on contentious human rights and climate issues. But before getting down to world affairs, they were presented with a taste of the culture of host country TNT. For the second time this year, mass maker Brian McFarlane was awarded the multi-million dollar contract to stage this event. With 945 performers taking the stage altogether, McFarlane attempted to express the essence of TNT, from theatrical depictions of sport to dramatic representations of the energy sector. A taste of Tobago culture and a reminder of its reefs. The number of big-name performing artists for this event was somewhat downsized from the April summit. Denise Plummer, Shadow and Drupati with a more provocative display. The presentation for this meeting, though, seemed carefully calculated not to offend any particular ethnic group. Following criticisms in April that segments of the local population were not well represented, McFarlane's inclusion of East Indian culture was pointed, as was his reference to the Chinese, African, Middle Eastern and Spanish cultures. There's again little way to tell what Commonwealth leaders really thought about this display. Single feed of pool footage showing only the performers, not the reactions of the leaders they were here to impress.